Rock music, I don't know go. if I like this game or I hate it. Get away from me, you mangy animal! Good God! Ha <laughs> ha! Welcome one and all to my table! Kind of, except not really. This is actually Onar's seat. Oh, the camera can only stop there. Anyway, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Scythe Hats and taking out with my weapon through the chair. Back again for more Gothic 2. Let's play this game together. We are back here at the Mercenary Cab once again because there has actually been a crap ton of quests that we could get over here. Last episode, we leveled. What are we going to do with that level? Well, check this out. Hey. I went in over and talked to Bennett, and turns out that those mag those ore nuggets that we got in the last episode were actually magic ore. Here you go. Show me. Really? Knock me down with a feather. What? You can keep two of these things. You'll need them in order to forge your own weapon. Okay. Too many people are talking at once. Teach me how to forge magic ore weapons. Teach me how to forge magic ore weapons. Do it! Great, you brought me the ore, and you also know how to forge a decent sword. That's mandatory. Well, fire away then. Come on. The most important thing is, it doesn't matter at all whether your weapon is made of magic ore throughout, or if you've only coated a simple steel blade with a layer of ore. The surface is all that matters. Okay. And since the blasted stuff is so expensive, you just grab a steel billet and a few lumps of ore. All right. Naturally, it won't do to just coat a finished sword with magic ore. You'll have to forge the weapon yourself from scratch. I don't know what that means, but okay. Everything else depends on the weapon you would like to produce. Yes. The weapon I'd like to produce, huh? I want Let's to know see. more about forging magic ore weapons. Now! I have improved my technique. Now I can teach you how to make bastard swords or heavy two-handed swords with ore. Yes, please! I want the ladder. Heavy or two-hander. Requires six LP. I'm guessing that's stronger than just an or LP. So heavy or two. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you. He scribbles it down in his notebook and that's that. What a jerk. He actually costs us for it? Wow. Anyway, this is actually a lot easier than you would think. You just do this to get the thing that you want, the piece of steel on fire. Go over to the anvil, forge magic or weapons. Magic or two-hander everything requires three or say what I thought we only had two. Nope. We got enough yeah, he really I like how he just shoved us aside now check this out, baby Heavy or two-hander that is actually our next weapon That's our next weapon right there that we've been waiting for that for a long time hundred strengths required so we need enough uh, I think that's like two or three levels unfortunately However, it does 120 damage, which is just leagues ahead of 70. And it even gives us a two-handed talent bonus for 10. That's crazy. Seriously, man. That is nuts. Even this weapon, the torture is actually has 125. Or even this, which is 130 strength, still does not top this heavy or two-hander. Now, the next weapon on top of that one, I think in the later chapters, I think, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure there's actually another, like, more ore weapons on top. Or maybe it's dragon scale weapons. Or Oh, it's like dragon blood, I think. That's right. Something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But either way, right now, that's right. I wanted to go and get the ability to get Shadow Beast Horns. I don't think we're going to end up being able to exploit that quest anytime soon. Because those just tuning in, there's a Shadow Beast quest that you can exploit for pretty much infinity XP. Um, but, you know, it, it's not going to come anytime soon. But we can at least get the Shadow Beast, like, so we can take Shadow Beast Horns. We can get that ability at least now. I think that's three learning points from this dude over here. I'm trying to avoid those Dragon Snappers on our right. Because I still don't know if we can take them on. I think they're still pretty strong, actually, and would do enough damage. I mean, I guess I could test it out with our newfound armor. That was kind of funny how he just walked over the log like that. Hey, Grom! Come here, you're an enemy from two worlds. Teach me how to hunt. You what heard you me. want to learn? I want to learn Shadow Beast Horn. Take off a Shadow Beast Horn, brace yourself against the skull with all your might, pulling on the horn, and cutting the thing out with a hard blade. Ooh. 
thanks for the detailed subscription. Jeez. Man, this guy is a beast. How does he do it? He can't even beat a shadow beast and he's giving us advice how to take a horn? Jeez. Okay, let's see if we can take on these dragon snappers. Although I don't think so. I know we just saved, but I want to save on Ante just so I know which file to load because I already wasn't paying attention. Oh, goodness. All right, come here. Can we attract them one at a time? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to just fight one at a time. Nope. Oh, you're way too powerful. They're still too powerful. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, they're eating my legs. My shoes? Why my shoes? Damn dragon snappers. Seriously, man, those things are so powerful. Well, we still got two learning points, which doesn't actually do dick. But let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Fear? Harbor City? Harbor City. I think that's the one, right? Because that's Corinus. I think they just call it Harbor City. Hey, man, you may be able to skin or take horns from Shadow Beast, but have you ever seen this? Alec, Alec Babble. Yes. Beautiful. Hey, what are you still doing at the docks, Hey, Lars? you. Do you have anything? Whoa. Hey, here's your ring. Here's your aquamarine ring. Good for you. I thought you'd lost it. What? I can't take care of it. Okay, have you ever used a teleport stone? Have you ever used a teleporter stone? No, but I've heard of them. The water mages aren't too sure about those things. I know, yet. it's probably the expansion. I've given it a try. How interesting. <laughs> of course you have. You're <laughs> not afraid of anything, are you? No. Well, if you want to use the things, go ask Orlin, the tavern owner, whether he'll let you into his boarded up cave. I think he has hidden one of the teleporter stones for the water mages near his That's tavern. Terrible. Walk out of the eastern city gate and simply follow the path. You can't miss it. Uh, wh <laughs> what? Where? <coughs> What's he talking about? Bar owner and then he tells us to leave town? Any news? Any news? You're responsible for the I best news say. yourself. They've let Bennett go again. He's back at the farm. I know. Go to him. I think he'd like to thank you himself. Oh, he did. Really? How he did. Asterisk grabs armor, Asterisk. Can you help me get through the thick woods in the east? What thick woods? Can you help me get through the thick <coughs> woods in the east? Okay. But what do you want to go there for? I don't know. Nefarious ordered me to find more ornaments. Oh. One of the places where I'm supposed to look is in the middle of the woods. I see. No, and that's still too dangerous for you alone, right? Yeah, no probably. Let me know dogs. when you want to leave. Ooh! Okay, cool! Anyway... Uh, except apparently I can't ask him when we teach leave. Me teach me something. something! Can you teach me anything, or are you just gonna stand there like an idiot? Oh. Well, no thanks. I don't need any of the crap you're gonna give me. Ah. Now, for some weird reason... He said talk to the bar owner. What's the bar owner got to do with the cave that leads to the water mages? Oh, he meant the tavern owner out in the middle of nowhere. Aha, so we could get a teleport stone to the tavern. Is that right? Okay. I see what he means. Let's see. Actually, I want to see if we can talk to him again now. See if we can go grab the hey. ornament. Hey, Lars. Can we leave yet? Nope. Any news? Any news? Responsible for the go to him. I already did. That's cool. I like how he tells us to, like, he'll help us with a quest, but he doesn't really. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm sure there's quite a few other quests that we could be doing here, but... Ooh! My phone is almost dead. Oh, well. I should be able to still make it through this episode. I used my phone as a timer. Now, Meldor, do you have anything new? Has anything excited happened? That's Has anything? Oh, they say there were dragons in the Valley of Mines. That's what I I'm curious say. to see when the paladins will set out from here to fight them. Says things like that. Okay. Well, anyway, let's go talk to the leader of the paladins and see what he's got in store. Because apparently, Lee was telling us... That we're supposed to be able to start our quest for him, right? Or some crap like that? I I don't know exactly. We'll have to see. I knew that would be uh, other than that, another thing that's in the area ever change. is Judge. So we can start doing some shady dealings for him. Hopefully they're not going to be too complicated. Oh, that's a citizen I thought was the dude Diego drove out of town. Oh, how's business? How's lousy? Somebody should have told me that Corinus has gone to the dogs in the meantime. Yeah, uh-huh. That's no news. 
I've only known the city like this. Yeah, you we've already done all of that. Well, anyway, see you later, Diego. Cross your arms and hope to die. Let's Stick a needle change. in your eye. That's horrible. Why would anyone want to do that to Diego? Right That's sick. <laughs> he doesn't see that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hey, you! I got something very special to talk to you about, Lord Hagen. How are things? How's oh. this? I must find a way to rescue this expedition. I already am. We must do something against the dragons. I already am, Perhaps don't worry. the Eye of Innos can save. Yep, yeah, uh huh. The Eye of Innos. Yes. That's to evolve to the next chapter, but we don't need to do that yet. Uh, I still do want to go back to the Valley of Mines eventually and try to help out some of our mercs or at least see whether or not they're over there because they're supposed to be in there kicking all sorts of ass and <laughs> taking names, fighting dragons, fighting everything. Let's save on Ravioli and let's go talk to Judge. Let's see what kind of quest this dude has. Hello? Hello? Judge? Mr. Judge? Oh, Mr. Judge, your name is Judge. You were predestined to be a judge and corrupt and weird. What's up? How's it going? You'd better scram, you filthy mercenary, before I call the guards. Excuse Relax. me. Relax. I'm not here to steal from you. I'm looking for work. Ah, so you want to work for me? Yes. Hmm. That is, of course, a different matter. <coughs> I don't know there why. There is, alas, one minor problem. I don't know whether I can trust you. You'll have to prove your loyalty first. Okay, sure. Just pay me and I'll do it. Put me to the test. Put me to the test. Hmm. All right. Listen. Bring me the sacred hammer of the Magicians of Fire. Whoa. They keep it somewhere in the basement of their monastery. Yeah, I know. If you pull that off, I might think about hiring you as a bodyguard. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> I'm supposed to steal it? You're off your rocker. All right. All right. Fine. But remember, if they catch you, I've never heard of you. I know. That's gonna be tough, though. I thought I thought it was going to be ugh, a little bit easier because Lee was telling us how we had to slowly advance through the ranks and, you know, gain his trust more and more and more and bring him even more juicier information. But, I mean, if he's gonna do something like that... Only in us decide I mean, yeah, you. right, man. Now, ooh. I agree with you. Completely. There's something I want to see. Something I want to see. Where is it? Nobody wants to know. City map, land map. Oh, skip uh, where I can find the bandit chief. No. Nope. Um, no, assumes missing ornaments. Let's take a look at this. No better off myself. Okay, so we got that first one. You don't have to talk. We got the one in the bottom right. We didn't get the one in the north. That is the one that is supposed to be up in the forest where we needed Lars to help us out. Except he's being a dick right now and he doesn't want to actually help us. Ew, it's gross and raining. Hmm, 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 hmm. There is quite a few things that we could do right now. Quite a few quests. One of the things that I do want to do, ooh, my goodness. One of the things I want to do right now, I guess. That was obvious all along. Yeah, I don't know. Because there is, over here, actually, you know what, it's probably easier if we just take the way straight through the city than going all the way around. There is that shadow beast in the cave nearby, but he's not that cool. I don't really want to fight him, uh, because he, shadow beast, he's going to start talking, isn't he? Shut up, Vatris. Let's see, hey. do you have any quests? Shadow beasts are still quite difficult to destroy. <laughs> I have delivered your message. I've delivered your message. <coughs> Accept my thanks. And now, pick your reward. Pick. Pick. One ore nugget. Ring of skill. Or King Sorrel is probably more important. Uh, I've given... I've got stone tablets. I've got another stone tablet for you. Only one, though. Great. Here. Take a few potions as a reward. Thanks. I can't heal or regen anything anyway, so I've got this feeling of te trepidation. I've got this feeling of trepidation. Okay. You don't look well either. You oh! were subjected to the black look of the Seekers for too long. I know. All I can heal is your body, but only the monastery can ah. purify your soul. Speak to Pyrocar. I he see. He will help you. So that's another way of forcing us to go to the monastery, because if we go there, we could get rid of this stupid curse, and then we could actually sleep in beds and heal. More. Donation, tell me about the bods. Can you heal me? I want to increase my magic power. Heal me! Can you heal me? He completely healed. Okay, you don't need a prayer or anything like that. Just heal me. 
and let me leave. Now, that's great, man. That's awesome. We're, we're fluking everything. Let's save on Thief, and you know what? We're going to the tavern, right? Where is it? I got something special for today. I've been wanting to use this for quite some time, so let's just use it now. Where is it? Speed potion! Ha-ha! Run! Run! Oh! There you are again. Oh, no! Barrett has finally finished that damn assignment for the paladins. What? That means that I can now offer you some new weapons. Are you interested? You're draining my potion! Show me your wares! Show me your... Okay, let's see. 140, 130, 100 for 100. Double-bladed ash, rep bastard sword. So far, it's all just a waste, pal. You're, you're horrible. Militia belt, leather belt, belt of defense. He does have a lot of raw steel, though, so we're gonna have to keep that. Ooh! Show me. He had an amulet, too. What's that? Okay, he has nothing that's worthwhile. Anyway, see you later, suckers! Ha ha! Get out of here! Is this what the acrobatic skill does? Is, does it give us the ability to sprint like this? Or is this just speed potions in general? Oh my goodness! This is great! I wish. Ah! Frame rate! It's skipping! There we go. Okay, goodness. I wish that he could just run like this all the time. That would be great, wouldn't it? Holy crap! He's on a move! And it actually gives a unique sprinting animation for the speed potion. That's crazy! That's amazing, man! That's so much better than Hello Seeker. We still haven't deal with him. I'll have to deal with him off camera later. Seriously, man, this is just awesome! Eh, 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 ah, 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 oh, speed potion! Uh, it's like Gatorade back in the day or something. Maybe I just have enough electrolytes now or something like that. Ha, 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 ha. And after we got this teleport stone, we're not going to need it. I also think we're going to be able to get a teleport stone to the monastery. Ha ha! Or something like that a little bit later, right? Let's save on battle because it's been such a long time since we actually did. <sighs> hey, you. Orlin. How's it going in your tavern? How's it? Hopefully these black magicians will move on soon. Otherwise, I can close the tavern. Yep. Teleport Almost stone? Nobody dares to come here anymore. Teleport stone. I went to the wrong tavern, didn't I? <laughs> Show, Show me a way, brother. Shouldn't they, brother of the ring? Garbage, garbage, garbage. Light two-hander, not bad. Blah, 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 blah. <gasps> Teleport to tavern! So he just sells it. Never mind. I'll take that. Thank you very much. What about... Oh. away with that. But, 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 what about the cave behind the door? Hello? I used to say that. Uh, Kai Bound, so did anything happen of interest? Did anything? Not that I know of. Nobody tells me nothing. Okay, see you later. I don't know how we're supposed to go into his tab. Is that an enemy from the first game or something? I don't know how we're supposed to go into that chest and put a bunch of weird items in it or something. Woo! Cacao this! Ha! Ha! Man, I love being this fast. I wish there was a way we could be like this indefinitely. That's two secrets for the price of one. Oh! Stop it! Stop it! That's two secrets for the price of one, baby! Seriously, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful on these roads. These roads are dangerous. Now, were we supposed to actually go and talk to the tavern owner eh, eh, inside Corinus? Is that what he wanted us to do so we could get into here? Ooh! We already went in here, didn't we? Aha! We did! We totally did. Okay, I'm not gonna take that portal because we don't actually need it. Wow, these potions lasted a long time. This is awesome! This is seriously great, man! Seriously! Okay. Now, what was the other thing we could have done? There are all these dudes and stuff, and it would probably be most precedent. We should probably go to the monastery, shouldn't we? Oh, you know what? We probably should, so let's do it right now while we still have our sprinting and everything. Uh, do we already have a teleport stone to the monastery? We probably do, and I just don't remember. Uh, otherwise, I'm sure there is quite a few other quests that we could end up starting. But for right now, we're just going to go to the monastery and to heck with it, because we can steal that hammer, gain his trust. Also, I think we can grab the Eye of Inos without actually going into Chapter 4, because Chapter 4 ends up coming... I don't remember when, but I know it comes later. Unless these dudes have us doing a bunch of quests in order to get the Eye of Inos, but I think we 
already went and did all of those quests in the first place, right? That's what all of the Valley of Mines was for, right? So we could actually get their approval to get... Is there a monster in there? So we could get their approval to actually get the damn thing. Hey, who's this guy? I love that he runs, man. Seriously, it's awesome. And we're almost at the end of this episode. Hey, you. Yeah, hey, what's up? Hey, you. <laughs> Ever been to the monastery? Yeah. Maybe. Why? Are they still taking on people? What? I wouldn't know where else to turn. Oh, okay, where do you want to come? Uh, where do what? you come from? I used to be captain of a big whaler, my boy. The sea is my home. Okay. My ship, the good old Magdalena, was sunk by pirates a few months ago, and now I'm stranded here. Aha! All I ever wanted was to go back to sea. But since I've come here, not one schooner is called at this accursed port. The only ship which is anchored in Corinus is that blasted war galley of the king. And they don't take on anyone. Don't worry. So what else can I do? There's no work for me in town. I've tried everything. I think they're trying to prepare us. So we could, like, later we hijack that ship. So I guess maybe if we go the mercenary route rather than using paladins, maybe we take this guy as a captain or something like that. You had better get off the road, though, bro. You better get off There's the road. There's ring rates. Hey, don't worry. I've already noticed that the wilderness out here has become damn dangerous in the last couple of days. Got that right. I told you to get off the road, but if you're not gonna listen to me... <gasps> uh, oh. <laughs> well, we ran out of potion, so that's okay. Oh, man. Isn't this place beautiful? Seriously. Look, oop, oop. Oh, did I not Marvin it up? Eh. There we go. I wanted to do this. Cause look at this place, man. Actually, you know what? What am I thinking? Let's just do this. Or better yet. Oh, I got it. Eh. Huh. Eh. Oh. Well, with my draw distance not high enough. Bam. There we go. Whoa. Ooh. I like how we come over here and it starts playing church bells. I can bells. see that the rumors are true. Of what? What rumors? That you've joined up with those dragon hunters. Well, okay. you never were a man of the church. Nevertheless, you're fighting for our cause, and that's what counts. Got that right. All? I'm glad, of course. And the way you look, every orc is bound to be afraid of you. <laughs> this is not only about the orcs. I know, but nonetheless, they're a problem. You are important. You defeated the sleeper. We may all need your help someday. Oh, well. <laughs> I love how nonchalant he is. At least these fire mages treat us with proper respect. I need to get in the monastery. It's urgent. How did you get to monastery so fast? Do you know where the others are? Oh. C come on, frame rate. What you doing? Do you know where the others are? Do you know where the others are? Gorn seems to have coped with his stay in Garan's dungeon very well. No. Nope. In any case, he wanted to go to Lee and see what was happening on the farm. Yes. After the grub they serve in the dungeon... He's probably stuffing his face right now and putting the mercenary's provisions to a real test. Got Diego right. mumbled something about a reckoning. No idea what he meant by that, <laughs> but I suspect he's in the city. You know him. Always there when there's something to be had. Not really, he's just complaining the whole time. How'd you get to the monastery so fast? How did you get to the monastery so fast? What kind of a question is that? I crept through the pass and made my way straight to the monastery. Admittedly, it was never easy avoiding all the monsters making themselves at home on this side of the valley. But ultimately, I encountered fewer problems than I expected. Man, this guy's good. He's a sneak. Do you know anything about the hooded figures? Do you know anything about That's the hooded figures? No, but I have a bad feeling about those guys. Oh. Be careful if you run into them. I already... Yeah, I know. I need to get into the monastery. I need to get into the monastery. It's urgent. I can't let you into the monastery. What? I'll get in trouble with the High Council. Without the permission of my superiors, I can't let anyone into the monastery. Hey! I already have a letter from Lord Hagen! I've got a letter from Lord Hagen. Show me. Right here, stupid! Oh, well, okay! All right. Here's the key to the monastery. Pyrocar is in the church. <laughs> oh, he gave us, like, two things. Okay, cool, thank you very much, but you know what? Before we end up going in here, we're going to call it here for today's episode, everybody, because we're on like 25 minutes. <laughs> Please don't forget to like the video. I really would appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. Please 
be sure to like the video. I hope you enjoyed this series. I know I just keep repeating myself. I said that in the improper order. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, and subscribe if you haven't already. Sign on, stay epic, everybody. Peace.